Today's recipe is a single tray, all-in-one baked chicken thigh. I love all-in-one bakes because it means less washing up for my children to do. So here we've got some four sizable chicken thighs, free range. And what we're going to do is simply divide them in two. So we've got our drumstick and our thigh. And we'll go through and we'll do all four of these. So this could be uh, a meal for four, sort of pretty hungry fellas, or a meal for eight uh, in the family, a small piece of chicken each, however you want to mix it up, depending on your appetite. So we just go through and we'll just cut all of those wonderful chicken thighs. You really see the difference in the quality of uh, proteins when they're free range as opposed to sort of intensively farmed. Look at the thick skin, it's got a beautiful colour to it. It's not sort of white and sort of washed out. The meat, the dark meat's nice and brown, it's firm. Quick wash of the hands. So. It's all in one. So we've got a few aromats to go in here. I've got some garlic cloves that I've just basically pulled from one bulb. That's a whole bulb, bulb of garlic. And I've removed the little root part that sort of attaches it to the bottom of the bulb. They go in with our chicken thighs and drums. Then we've got some rosemary. I'm simply gonna pull the rosemary off the stem like so into little florets. So maybe one and a half sticks of rosemary. I've got some thyme that's from the bottom of my salad drawer from a previous bunch that I've used. So that all goes in. Be generous with the salt at this stage. Some cracked black pepper. And finally, a little drizzle of our extra virgin olive oil. Not a lot, probably about a tablespoon and a half. We're just gonna massage these aromats in and around the chicken distributing them underneath, on top. So as it cooks, they steam, the, the vapor comes up through the chicken. And of course, where there's contact on top, they'll crispen up, fry, release their oils with all that extra oil that we've added, plus the fat from the chicken skin. And it'll all seep in and really flavor those chicken, chicken thighs and drums. So wash your hands. Now that is ready to go into a preheated oven about 180 degrees. We're going to cook it for about 15 to 20 minutes just to set the colour on top of the skin and help render out some of that fat. So to accompany the, uh, the chicken bake, what I'm going to make is a really nice, uh, fragrant, slightly piquant, Salsa, onions, diced, chopped chili, fresh. And then I've got some chili flakes for a little bit of extra baba boom. Okay, in they go. Or dried chilies that have been chopped up, seeds and all. And then into that, we're gonna put our red wine vinegar. So this is gonna sort of add a little bit of crunchy texture to the, to the final dish. But also, because we've got the chicken fat, we're gonna put lentils in. Uh, it's a little rich, we've got stock, so it's kind of like, Need something just to cut through it. So there we have our onions, two types of chilies. Just mix that up. The next thing to go in is our wild oregano. I love this stuff. It is so, so good. And we're just gonna take that and crunch it all up, rub it into our salsa. If there's any sort of large sticky bits, try and sort of extract those from the uh, salsa. You don't wanna be chewing on those. And we are really just crumbling that into our lovely salsa. Again, oh, it's so aromatic, the dried oregano. It's, oh, it's just so delicious. I sound like Nigella Lawson. Don't look as good as her. So now our fresh herbs. We've got some parsley. Just scrunch that up and we're gonna chop this up finely or well, relatively finely. Nice sharp knife. And there we have it. Parsley goes in. Here I've got marjoram. Now marjoram is similar to oregano, although it's slightly more fragrant and sweet and a very a, and a softer herb. It's a delicate herb and it's actually, um, once it's cut, it doesn't last that well. So if you do buy it, 
Try not to buy a big bunch. Sometimes it comes, it has lots of little baubles on it, which um, are like almost the flower. They're, they're fine, you don't, you just chop those up. And finally, we have a little bit of basil. So three different types of green herbs, all aromatic, all really fresh. Okay, run your knife through the basil. Nice sharp knife when cutting basil. In we go. Mix all that up. So at this stage it's quite dry. And now we're just gonna lubricate it with a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. So there's our salsa picante. So chickens have been in for about 25 minutes, or 20 minutes, and they're just starting to get some color. The skin is just starting to get crispy and uh, a little bit of color there. We'll just make some room here because what we're going to do is we're going to add our lentils, tinned lentils that I've just drained. Okay. This is chicken stock, about 250 mils or one cup. Just into the bottom of the tray like so. And now that goes in back into the oven for a further sort of 15 minutes. And then for the last five minutes, we're going to chuck in our green beans and let all of that cook together. So here's our chicken, straight out of the oven. Wow, yum. So these are really lovely and soft and juicy. Because we've used the thigh or the Maryland, so the drum and the thigh, they really do love a slow cook and they don't dry out. We've got that beautiful gravy, that sauce of the stock, the juice of the, the chickens in there. Oh, yum. The green beans should be just soft and a little darker. Now, I would serve this family style. I'd just put the whole dish on the table, big spoon, and just sort of serve yourself. Lentils, green beans, the chicken, and of course, our lovely salsa, which I'll just sprinkle all over the top, just to cut through the richness of that de broth. Yum. And there is our tray baked chicken thighs with lentils and green beans. Have a go at that at home. Beautiful.